Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus and a happy Christmas to you because Christmas is coming and the goose is getting fat. Um, you may be dreaming of a white Christmas, but from where I'm sitting, it looks like a decidedly grey Christmas, a cold and wet Christmas. Um, but that's okay. And we're in the season of winter at the moment. And just as there are winters in the, in the physical, natural cycle, so there are winters in the spiritual life. And, and we need to respond to those appropriately in the same way that plants and trees respond to the cycle of the seasons. Um, so as to live healthily and, and, and blossom and flourish at the right times. So we need to respond to the seasons and be sensitive to that. Uh, and it calls forth a different mode of spirituality depending on the, the season that we're in. And, uh, and winter is actually a time, the spiritual winter is the time when God can do some incredible things in our lives and, and, and build us and form us in, in new ways. And sometimes we can glorify God most potently when we're in uh, winter times in our lives, whether as individuals or as churches or as countries or continents. I read this wonderful um, statement of faith from the book of Habakkuk. I'm getting to the end of the one year Bible. And, uh, and he says this right at the end of his letter, even though the fig trees have no blossoms and there are no grapes on the vines, even though the olive crop fails and the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon the heights. And there's an incredible statement of faith there and of intent to hunker down on God. And though outwardly the circumstances are very wintry, he inwardly resolves to cling to God and to rejoice in the God of his salvation and draw on the strength of God when all the strength of the world has been sapped. And I read a, a similar kind of statement of faith and a prayer in a book by Frank Loback. I'm reading at the moment, Learning the Vocabulary of God. He writes this, God help me to welcome each day as a game with circumstances, to conquer the obstacles which rise like fog to shut you out. They call out new strength of will and so develop that strength. Teach me, God, to try hardest when I want to try least. Make me hottest in soul when the environment is coldest, for their sakes who are cold. When in Rome, may I be unlike the Romans most. Uh, I really like that, that declaration of intent. I will hold on to you, Lord. Teach me, Lord, to try hardest when I want to try least. Make me hottest in soul when the environment is coldest for their sakes who are cold. And uh, may that be our prayer today, especially if we're in a, a winter time in our personal spirituality or uh, in our walk with God, we, we may feel a distance there, a dryness there, a coldness there. But this is the time when God can form uh, a wonderful song of worship within our hearts. And uh, let that prayer be our prayer, the prayer of Habakkuk, the prayer of Frank Loback this morning, and let us hunker down deep and look to the spring.